Welcome back Year 11 and thanks for returning to the final video in this section. The last question in Section A of Paper 1 will focus on the social and cultural context surrounding the television programme. So let's delve a little deeper to find out what that means. Like the previous question, Question 5 is a knowledge and understanding question, which is worth 10 marks. It will focus on issues related to social and cultural context and again you will not be asked to analyse the clip in order to answer this question. Holy shit! I know, isn't it great? In fact it is likely that if the clip you are shown is about cuffs, then you will be asked to discuss the Avengers in this question. I don't mind. Fortunately there is a set structure to this question that is likely to look something like this. Explain how social and or cultural context influence messages and values in television programs. Refer to cuffs in your answer. So if we break that down, we have the word explain, meaning you will need to provide factual information with examples. The main part of this question refers to social and or cultural context. Context often sounds like a confusing word, but essentially it means the circumstances that form the setting for an event statement or idea, and in terms of which it can be fully understood, i.e. what was happening in the wider world at the time. So for this question, you could focus on attitudes to gender as a contextual issue. Now before breaking down the rest of the question, let's take a look at gender in a little more detail. As I said previously, the question could ask you about cuffs or the Avengers, so we're going to take a look at what these attitudes were in the 1960s and compare this to attitudes in 2015. In the 1960s, women were expected to take on the traditional roles of wife, mother and homemaker. Although the suffragette movement had changed many things, like women having the right to vote, there was still a huge amount of inequality between men and women. For example, they were not in control of their own fertility, as the contraceptive pill was only available for married women. In the media, many women were sexually objectified for the purposes of pleasing male audiences. <laughs> Matron, take them away! On a more positive note, in 1965, far more women were going to university and pursuing professional roles than ever before. However, not everyone in Britain supported this and there was a lot of criticism surrounding working mothers, blaming them for disrupting family life. Why don't you think that, that education's a good thing for married women? Well, I think too much higher education makes them very unhappy and very frustrated. As well as this, women were not guaranteed equal pay for doing the same job as men, and in some roles, such as teaching, women were expected to give up their job once they were married. What? The new generation of women were trying to change things though. The swinging 60s was a youth-driven cultural revolution that took place in the United Kingdom during the mid to late 1960s, which saw a flourishing in art, music and fashion and was symbolised by the city's pop and fashion exports. Young women had more freedom and disposable income than ever before, and women in particular were seen to be liberated through fashion. The miniskirt was invented during this era. However, it could be argued that the more revealing clothes only served to help further objectify and sexualise women. Fast forward to 2015, and much has changed for women. The women's liberation movement of the 1970s helped to create more equality between men and women in terms of education and job opportunities. Many of the rules in place in the 1960s no longer exist in the present day, and attitudes about equality between the sexes are much more positive and common. I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. Since the 2000s, TV and film has responded to this and women are seen much more dominant and significant in roles such as Doctor Who and films such as Captain Marvel. However, the fourth wave of feminism would argue that there are still many equalities such as the pay gap and sexual harassment. Attitudes towards men are also showing signs of changing as men are no longer confined to traditional roles in TV. There are many positive representations now of men who are caring and society is becoming more accepting of men showing their emotions. So back to the question, the next part asks how social and cultural context influence the messages and values in television programmes. This is where you need to find evidence from the set episodes to show how it reflects the wider context. In this question it asks you to refer to cuffs, but it could also ask you to refer to the Avengers. So in terms of gender and the Avengers, our evidence could include the fact that Emma Pill represents the new working woman who is more than just a housewife and a mother. She is a martial arts expert, a certified genius and most importantly exudes confidence in her body language. Emma is represented as being equal to Steed in her role as a spy, which was a breakthrough in 1965 and shows a change in attitudes towards women at the time. However, Emma is still sexually objectified by her outfits such as leather catsuits and camera work that focuses on her assets. 
That was very, very dirty. You're quite right. Steed is still represented as a stereotypical male lead with power and authority, which is shown through his demeanour and his gentleman-style outfits. And if we were asked to refer to Coffs, we could say, DS Joe Moffat has important status as an investigator, and this is shown through her costume, as she wears suits rather than a uniform, and the fact that she is the central character on the main poster. This reflects the change in attitudes towards women at work in 2015. However, her independence and strength is undermined by her affair with Superintendent Robert Vickers, and she appears weak when she is around him. <coughs> This reflects that even in 2015, there are still large inequalities between men and women, both in terms of status and sexuality. PC Donna Brager, on the other hand, is represented as being stronger both physically and mentally than her partner Lino. Donna is equal to Ryan during training and keeps going even when Jake and Lino have given up. So that's how the wider context, in this case gender, influences the messages and values in both programs. Other contexts you could also discuss in your answer include attitudes towards sexuality, attitudes towards age, and attitudes towards ethnicity. Now there is not enough time to go through each context in this video. Instead you can find a full breakdown of each context and how they apply to the set episodes in the PowerPoints linked in the description. Take a pause now and revise over this information before moving on. You got it! In terms of how to structure your response to the question, it is worth remembering that you are given this much space to write and it should take 10 minutes to write your response. So you should aim for roughly three paragraphs in order to gain four marks. The exam board suggests that you tackle this question in one of two ways. The first method is that you focus on one context and write a detailed response on that area only. I think this is actually the more difficult method to follow. So in this video, I'm going to recommend that you try method two. This method suggests that you focus on a different context for each paragraph, which means less detail overall. But please bear in mind that you will need to learn all of the contextual areas. Like in the previous questions, I would suggest that you use the P technique to structure each paragraph. So my point would highlight the contextual issues. For example, since the women's liberation movement of the 1970s, feminism has helped to bring about more equality between the sexes in terms of education, job opportunities and discrimination. I would then find evidence from the set product to support my point. In the episode of Cuffs, one of the main characters is DS Joe Moffat, who is one of the higher ranking inspectors. She wears a high powered suit instead of a typical police uniform and she is seen to be in charge of the important investigations in the episode. She is also centrally placed on the promotional poster which again connotes her status and importance to the narrative. Finally, I would link all of this back to the question by explaining how the messages and values in Cuffs have been influenced by the context. Therefore, it is clear that the wider context related to gender have influenced Cuffs. The fact that they have chosen a woman to front the marketing campaign demonstrates the show's willingness to embrace equality between the sexes, and the message is clear that women are just as important in job roles that were once dominated by men. This is important as Cuffs are attempting to reflect reality to modern audiences in order to attract mass audiences. Really? That's amazing! After this first paragraph, I would then choose at least two other contextual areas to focus on in my response. Remember to choose areas that you feel the most confident and knowledgeable about. The great thing about the question is that you can plan your response beforehand because technically the question will always be similar in terms of structure. All you need to do is make sure you have planned one for Cuffs and one for the Avengers. And again, you can find an exemplar response linked in the description. Thank you! <laughs> So, other tips for revision include revising over the issues related to the social and cultural context, including how they are reflected in both Cuffs and the Avengers, planning out your full response for both programs so that it is ready to go by the time you get to the exam, and practicing writing out your responses by timing yourself, giving yourself 10 minutes in total. Now I have other matters to attend to. So that's it, we have completed section A. Well done for keeping up and I hope you feel confident now in answering the questions associated with the TV unit. In the next video we will be starting to tackle section B which is everything related to the Lego movie and the Lego video game. See you soon!